All right, everybody. Donald, Top Wolf 1964. And first off, I want to apologize if there's any uh, background noise. They're doing some tree trimming uh, over the next few houses. But I uh, went to a good friend of mine and he put this, uh, my front deck together for the John boat with a storage hatch. Uh, it's cut out right there. Uh, got a, I'm gonna paint it and put some carpet on it. Turned out real, real nice. Three quarter inch plywood, <clears throat> pressure treated. Little on the heavy side, but be able to dance on top of that and also did also did the seat with like a bench clamp made out of uh, three quarter inch plywood just couldn't bolt the seat straight down to these flimsy aluminum seats stock seats that's in the boat because you'd be rock and rolling all over the place but this that seat is rock steady um, there's no flex no giving in that pedestal on the seat uh, swivel seat so be able to turn it around and uh, drive the trolling motor so that turned out real good and we put the uh, anchor light a place where you put the anchor light so here's that for me so there we go uh, I'll be back with uh, an update on the John boat after I figure out what I'm going to do next. Just kind of budget, got a budget. Uh, said all that stuff was pretty, was free. All I had to do was buy the uh, stainless steel bolts for the seat. But everything else was uh, extra extra plywood laying around alrighty we'll be back so uh, a quick update on the progress of the John boat kind of mad at myself right now uh, the weather guy mother nature whoever it is but uh, I had laid out my new carpet in the center of the boat um, it was it had been in there for about three uh, actually almost four days let's see when did I put it in yeah four days anyway and it came up raining i should have had it covered up but i figured after four days the adhesive the outdoor adhesive would have been dry but it got wet just like the last one i didn't learn from the first time so i'm gonna see what happens when when it dries out it is what it is I should have covered it up but I didn't know it was gonna rain no forecasters you know 20% chance of rain naturally 20% was right on my boat so anyhow and progress on some wiring uh, 
I got uh, half inch PVC running alongside the boat going to this is a straight piece and this is the front of the boat it kind of curves so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat that up and bend it and uh, adhesive of that down uh, the main battery for the trolling motor is going to go up front and there's going to be a light underneath the deck so that extra wire is for for that uh, so you got uh, PVC half inch running down the side to hide and protect the wires as much as I can got a couple more parts I gotta get <coughs> but I'm gonna change this 90 out and make it a T because I'm gonna put I got my second battery it's a uh, lawn and garden big battery for uh, big tractors or something like that uh, I'm gonna use for my for my lights and uh, etc like that so I'm gonna change that out I'm gonna build a box for my switches it's gonna go right there and on the side is gonna be a 12 volt uh, power socket outlet and I'm going to eventually mount, I think, for the lights, going to go somewhere, somewhere like that once I get all the um, plumbing taken care of. Somewhere like that. I'm going to have me a LED light right there. And uh, the second battery is going to sit probably right there, maybe in that corner right there, and that way there, I can always uh, put something right there for storage or whatever. I'm going to try and leave this part open, of course. But uh, one of the two spots there. So. That's the update. Uh, the Putting the rug on the John boat's just been a nightmare for me, but it's got to deal with it. Moving on. So, uh, I guess that's all I got for this clip. So, uh, hang in there. We'll be right back for another update. It's getting close, getting close. Alrighty, quick update, progress on the John boat. I was able to get the front nav light mounted today. I was working on some wiring. Got wired up. I still have to, uh, when I get done, uh, got some silicone. Gonna cover that up where the wires go. Keep them protected. Probably here. Started to rain on me, so I'm smart this time. I'm trying to keep my carpet dry, so put a tarp over the boat. So I'm trying to keep that.
carpet dry. Still trying to dry it out from when it rained on me. I was at work, so gonna get a chance uh, to cover it, and it's got wet. So hopefully the yeah. Anyway, enough about the carpet. I'm not a carpet guy. Um, said so got uh, almost got all the wiring done. I got. Uh, That's one of the uh, LED lights for the rear of the boat. Said the battery should be right here. I may have to move the light up, but I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. That way, there I'll have uh, some light without holding the flashlight or having to have a flashlight for the back so I can see what's going on back here. Having hands free is always good. But, uh, boat's covered up for the rain today. I was going to do, do a little more on it, but fixing the storm. Florida weather, got to love it. Alrighty. Be back with another update soon. Alrighty, uh, this will be the uh, ending of part three of the John Boat Project update of uh, wiring, LED lighting. So it's all it's all done. Got uh, 90, 90, 95 percent of it done anyway. Just got to get some wire clamps to clamp that up out of the way. So. Got the front LED light for underneath the deck. Got some hand free lighting. The battery is going to go up front for the trolling motor. And I got the quick disconnects for that wired up. Then I got uh, in the middle, mid part of the boat, LED light, hands free when I need it. I'm gonna get a, I think I just need one strap to hold that up. We'll be okay. See, it's almost done. I got the, uh, the anchor light all wired up. It's all done, tested and working. There's with the uh, trolling motor, of course, is going to be on the transom. Got the quick disconnect for that. The LED for the rear of the boat. For this is where the battery is going to be going for the uh, lights and uh, etc it's all wired up there and the bow light anchor light I got the brackets mounted and that's there so uh, John Boat Project Almost done. I got uh, switches on order. They should be here next day, six or five. I think it's five. Five lighted green switches. So when that gets here, just got to make a, a box for the switches and wire them up. And what's following that? 
Uh, I got a life vest. Uh, reading on some rules. I don't need a throwable to be legal, so I'll be set there. So I just need to get a get an anchor and a boat cooler. And I think that's going to be about it. So. Alrighty. Appreciate your views, your comments, and uh, any suggestions as always. Y'all be safe out there. And we'll see you in the next video.